we can reach the segment overlap analysis from the explore link on the left. This time, we will be using a blank exploration, so let's click on blank exploration. Then we will choose segment overlap from the technique drop down. Segment overlap analysis allows us to see how user segments relate to each other. For example, we would like to see how buyers relate to the US demographic. The values chip on the left is by default active users. This suits our use case because we want to display the number of active users in each segment. Next, we want to add the purchaser segment from the segment section on the left. Since we don't see the purchaser segment in the list, we have to add it manually. Click on the plus sign. Here we have several options to choose from. We can either create a custom segment or choose a suggested segment. Suggested segments include pre-built and template segments that can speed up the creation process. User segment is a subset of users who interacted with our site or app. Event segment is a subset of events that were triggered on our site or app such as purchase events. Session segment is a subset of the sessions that occurred on our site or app such as sessions that came from a specific city. Let's create a custom user segment in this case. Click on user segment. Let's name it buyers. Add a new condition and type purchase. A condition group gives us more flexibility if we have a complex criteria. It allows us to arrange conditions into groups. Within a condition group, each condition can be evaluated with an AND or an OR logic. A condition scope determines how broadly or narrowly the conditions are applied. The add sequence defines conditions that must occur in a specific order. For example, we could require the first event to be a session start followed immediately by a purchase event. Click on save and apply. Let's add another user segment that represents the US users. Let's name it US. Choose country ID exactly matches US. The at any point checkbox means the user is counted if they visited the US once in the past, even outside the selected time period. Click on apply. Notice how on the right we get a preview of the segment as we are defining it. Click on save and apply from the right top. We can see two circles, one for each segment. One represents buyers, and the other represents the US users. Notice how the buyers circle is almost entirely inside the US circle. We say that the segments highly overlap in this case. This overlap means that most of our buyers for the selected period of time are from the US. Looking at the table below, it shows a breakdown of the active users by segment. The top US value includes all users from the US, regardless whether they are buyers or not. The US only includes users from the US who are not buyers. Similarly, buyers represent all buyers regardless where they are from. This includes buyers from the US. Buyers plus US represents the segment overlap, which is the number of active users who are buyers and from the US at the same time. Buyers only represent buyers who are not from the US. We can hover over the rows and notice the overlap in the circles above. It is also possible to create a new segment from one of the overlaps we have. For example, if I right click on US plus buyers, I can click on create segment from selection. The new segment modal appears with the same conditions that satisfy the data I selected. I am going to click on cancel to close this modal. We can also apply a breakdown by another dimension such as device category. Since it's not in the dimensions list, we have to manually add it by clicking on the plus sign. Click under the breakdowns area on the left and add device category. Or we could simply double click on the device category chip from the dimensions list, 